Aliko Dongote Gisin, is a Nigerian billionaire business magnate. He is the wealthiest person in Africa, with an estimated net worth of 11.1 billion US dollars as of May 2021. Chapter 1, Early Life Chapter 1 Section 1, Family Aliko Dongote, an ethnic Hausa Muslim from Kano, Kano State, was born on 10 April 1957 into a wealthy Muslim family of the Nigerian bourgeoisie, the son of Muhammad Dongote and Maria Sanusi Dantata, the daughter of Sanusi Dantata. He is the great-grandson of Olhassan Dantata, the richest West African at the time of his death in 1955. Chapter 1 Section 2 Education Dongote was educated at the Sheikh Ali Kamasi Madrasa, followed by Capital High School, Kano. On his early life, he has said, I can remember when I was in primary school, I would go and buy cartons of sweets and I would start selling them just to make money. I was so interested in business, even at that time. In 1978, he graduated from the government college, Bernin Kudu. He received a bachelor's degree in business studies and administration from Al-Azhar University, Cairo. Chapter 2, Business Career Chapter 2 Section 1, Nigeria The Dongote Group was established as a small trading firm in 1977, the same year Dongote relocated to Lagos to expand the company. Today, it is a multi-trillion Naira conglomerate with many of its operations in Benin, Ghana, Nigeria, Zambia, and Togo. Dongote has expanded to cover food processing, cement manufacturing, and freight. The Dongote Group also dominates the sugar market in Nigeria, and is a major supplier to the country's soft drink companies, breweries, and confectioners. The Dongote Group has moved from being a trading company to be the largest industrial group in Nigeria including Dongote Sugar Refinery, Dongote Cement, and Dongote Flour. In July 2012, Dongote approached the Nigerian Ports Authority to lease an abandoned piece of land at the Apapa Port, which was approved. He later built facilities for his flour company there. In the 1990s, he approached the Central Bank of Nigeria with the idea that it would be cheaper for the bank to allow his transport company to manage their fleet of staff buses, a proposal that was also approved.